problem 6 dash 2 uh, is a uniform distribution. We're told the val uh, random variable takes on values between 10 to 20. Using your book's uh, nomenclature, that would be A uh, and 20 would be B, uh, the minimum and the maximum. So we know that the height of the distribution is 1 over B minus A. That would be 1 over 20 minus 10. That would be 1 over 10. which would be 0 0.1. So to compute part, uh, b and so that would be if this is uh, 1, this would be half of it, 0 0.5, and this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this would be uh, the height of the distribution of the rectangle. Now in part A, we're told what is the probability that x is less than 15. Less than 15 would be, here is 15, oops, less than 15 would be all of this area because we know areas outside of this range or points outside of that range of that rectangle have a probability of zero. So if all of this over here is zero has um, probability of zero, um, we're only concerned with the area within this rectangle which I've highlighted. So what we need to do is see what is this distance from here to here that we're interested in. That would be um, 15 minus 10 times the height of the distribution which we computed above to be 0.1. So that would be 5 times 0.1 which would be 0 0.5. And of course that makes sense because 15 is halfway between 10 to 20 and therefore um, since the area, total area under the curve, total area within this rectangle is 1, half of it would be this area right here which has uh, area of 0 0.5 or the probability associated is 0 0.5. Part B says uh, probability that x is greater than or equal to 12 or less than or equal to 18. Now we know uh, for continuous variables uh, whether I say probability of greater x being greater than 12 and less than 18 or whether I say x is um, greater than or equal to 12 and less than or equal to 18, both of these are the same. The reason for that is because um, probability of exact value is 0 for a continuous random variable. So here again, I'm looking, the area uh, goes from, or, or the random variable takes on values from 10 to 20 with a height of um, 0 0.1. But now we're interested in uh, the area between 12 to 18. We're interested in this area right here. So, oops. So, 
uh, we need to find out what that area is composed or, or what's the base of that area. So we have um, 18 minus 12, which is 6. And that multiplied by the height would be 0 0.6. Um, part C says compute the expected value of x and we know for a uniform distribution the expected value is the minimum value a plus the maximum value b which in this case is 20 divided by 2 and that would be 15 for this problem and the variance this is part D the variance of x is computed by um, taking the maximum value, in this case that's 20, subtract from it the minimum value, which is 10. So the range, essentially, square that number and then divide by 12. And if you go through that process, that becomes 10 squared divided by 12. And we know 10 squared is 100 divided by 12. So that would be approximately 8.33. And if that's that, then we could add part E, what is the standard deviation of x. And that would be square root of the variance, which is square root of 8.33, which is... 2.89. Thank you.